Now you face the Shredder. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villains. The turtles must be destroyed before we begin our conquest of Earth. For this list, we're ranking the most infamous and iconic antagonists from every medium in the franchise. We'll include characters that went on to help the turtles as well. Who's your favorite TMNT villain? Let us know in the comments. Hey Mojoholics! For a chance to win cash prizes, play our live daily trivia challenges every day at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern only at watchmojo.com slash play. Number 20, Ultimate Ninja. With this victory, my fame and glory grows. Soon all will know my name. I am the ultimate ninja! The father of this villain was once an ally of Master Splinter. Unfortunately, the ultimate ninja didn't take after his dad. This antagonist initially enters the TMNT universe as a villain who wants to defeat Shredder. Upon discovering Leonardo already boasted this achievement, the ultimate ninja challenges the turtle leader to a duel. Although the villain is obsessed with honor, he doesn't mind using underhanded tactics to get ahead. We'd hate him more if his design and skills weren't so cool. While this warrior eventually mellows out after a complex series of events, his time as an enemy was ultimately memorable. You lose. No, I cannot lose. I cannot. Sorry, you just did. Number 19, Lord Dreg. I am Dreg. My own planet was long ago destroyed by greed and war. I have come to save your world from a similar fate. The final two seasons of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series from 1987 saw a new big bad to replace the likes of Shredder and Krang. His name was Lord Dreg, an alien warlord from Dimension X. Although he didn't have the same name recognition as his predecessors, he was no pushover. Lord Dreg could wield lasers and tiny machines to help him get ahead and his terrifying intellect allowed him to use his abilities in a variety of unexpected ways. Lord Dreg's reappearance in the 2012 cartoon series was more fearsome. There, he was a nightmarish alien with teeth and claws for days. Lord Dreg had no time for the turtles, and even less mercy, making him a fearsome enemy and formidable foe. I am Lord Grinagath Dreg. Ruler of planet Sextoid, lord of all insect life in the universe, and bringer of your deaths. Number 18, Dream Beavers. You figured it out, eh? Very clever, clever salty boy. Whoa, what's going on? If we've learned anything throughout the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise, it's that we should never judge a book by its cover. The idea of four alien villains called the Dream Beavers may not seem very threatening, but that was until we learned that their otherworldly powers include the invasion of our heroes' dreams. Inside the Sleepy Realm, they have godlike abilities that could spell doom for even the most powerful foes. We think the Dream Beavers will get along well with Freddy Krueger. Just like the iconic villain, these foes know how to exploit our worst nightmares. For years we have lurked in this dream dimension, stealing the life force of humans, draining them dry, and But dudes, we're not human! <sighs> Number 17, Master Tatsu. <laughs> Never lower your eyes to an enemy. Yes, Master Tetsu. While this character may have been created for the 1990 film, his legacy has lived on in other forms of TMNT media. In the film, Master Tatsu was the Shredder's second in command. He was in charge of indoctrinating youths like Danny Pennington into the Foot Clan. Tatsu was also an accomplished swordsman and martial artist in his own right. We arguably get a better display of his skills in the 2012 animated series. Tatsu's second major appearance feels more grounded in reality and carries a lot of dramatic weight. They're gone, Master Hattori. You little fools! You have all gotten soft! Either way you slice it, pun intended, Master Tatsu was a great secondary villain. Number 16, Alopex. Drop the blade, sweetheart. My name is Alopex. 
Turtle Boy. Despite having a relatively small history in the franchise, Aloe Pex made a big impact during her time amongst the turtles. In both versions of her backstory, she lived a normal life before being mutated against her will. Alopex found purpose in her new arctic fox form by serving some serious big bads with her martial arts skills. As an added layer of complexity, she is depicted as the enemy to her brother Tiger Claw in the 2012 animated series. She was also romantically involved with Raphael. Arctic Fox's unique history has given her room to go between being a dangerous villain and a valuable ally to our guys in green. Whenever she appears, the turtles have to be ready for anything. Walk away from your wicked path or next time, there is no mercy. You've been warned. Number 15, General Trag. Come out fighting! Who are they? Stone warriors from Dimension X, they're bad! Any army commanded by an alien warlord would benefit from having someone like General Trag at the helm. This extremely dedicated and no-nonsense leader wanted nothing more than to turn the turtles into soup in the 1980s series. Thanks to his rocky exterior, normal weapons weren't effective against them. The turtles had to use their smarts to overcome this tough leader. When Trag returned in 2012, he was somehow even more intimidating and dangerous than he was before. He even came complete with lava breath. While the new Trag didn't have the same personality as the original, he more than made up for it by being a tremendous physical threat. Ah, shoot. Uh, oh. Number 14, Leatherhead. No use kidaddling, frogs. You don't be a skipper from old Leatherhead. The character of Leatherhead is one that's endured ever since his debut way back in 1988 and the original comic series. He's also another example of a character that shifted allegiances over the years, serving as both friend and foe to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's the original 1987 animated series that perhaps presents Leatherhead at his most villainous. The animated alligator even enslaves the turtle allies known as the Punk Frogs. Between Leatherhead's strength and incredible jaws, it's not hard to see why he was victorious. Despite having a good reputation as an anti-hero, it's always fun to see the skater break bad. <laughs> I get my claws on you, I'll make you into swamps too! Number 13, Dog Pound and Fish Face. Make sure those fools don't escape. I'm gonna blow this place sky high. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise has a storied history of pairing up some of the villains in order to do double damage to our heroes. Dog Pound and Fish Face are one of the best pairs out there. While the canine-themed baddie was originally a human martial arts master, the amphibian antagonist was a normal criminal recruited by Shredder. They eventually both mutate into even more formidable enemies than they were before. To make matters worse, Dog Pound gets a secondary mutation named Razor. Both villains are definitely not to be trifled with because of their rough and tumble origins. They have given the turtles stiff opposition time and time again. Look what I found for soon to be ex turtles. I'm sure glad it's okay to be scared. Number 12, Slash. Whether Slash is depicted as a pet turtle belonging to Bebop or Raphael, this mutated amphibian always seemed to be part of colorful and unique storylines. The original Slash is somewhat dim-witted until an extraterrestrial encounter briefly gives him super intelligence. Whatever happened to the old, lovable, stupid as a sea slug Slash? No use trying to hide, old chap. Your meager wits don't stand a chance against my super intelligence. Meanwhile, the 2012 iteration is initially known as Spike, before taking on the more familiar Slash moniker. He's another character that goes back and forth with his allegiances. But when Slash feels like taking out the other turtles, he's not to be messed around with. This warrior can tear through the team with expert battle tactics and sharp claws. Slash has come a very long way from being just an innocent pet. That mutagen warped your brain, Spike! This isn't you! Told you, the name's Slash. Number 11, Tiger Claw. I would have my revenge against Splinter. 
against his hideous reptiles. And against those who trap me in that wretched worm's belly. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series from 2012 possessed one supremely memorable villain in the form of Tiger Claw. In fact, he's arguably one of the franchise's best antagonists full stop. This is thanks largely to the fact that Tiger Claw's backstory and motivations are treated with serious weight. After being mutated against his will along with his sister Alopex, he struggles to overcome the darkness of his origins. Additionally, Tiger Claw's skill as a warrior, combined with his amorality as a mercenary for hire, make him extremely dangerous. The villain also has a relentless fury and dogged determination. When his personality traits are combined with his skills, this TMNT villain stands out as a huge problem. Karai, would you like the honor of finishing him? Number 10, Hun. Ready to taste some asphalt scum? Not a recruit. I'm the new leader. Hun. The Foot Clan isn't the only street gang that have served as proverbial thorns in the sides of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's also an evil group known as the Purple Dragons, led by Hun. Through his leadership, the gang evolves and grows into a full-blown crime syndicate. However, Hun doesn't need a single lackey to fight the heroes. His fighting expertise comes with enough strength to deal devastating blows. Additionally, Hun has faced off against Casey Jones in various wars of attrition. The mutual hatred the two have for each other ensures that sparks fly whenever these two clash. No matter whether Hun's up against Casey Jones or Turtles, this talented foe is determined to win. <laughs> Number 9, The Triceratons. You know, it's not every day four off-worlders can bring a glorious Triceraton Empire straight to its knees. You really got to admire their spunk. These evil alien dinosaurs actually predate the turtles, debuting in the Fugitoid Micro Series Issue 1 from 1985. When the Triceratons finally clashed with the heroes in a half shell, the results were explosive. They were initially presented as alien invaders with advanced tech and incredible battle prowess. After their impressive debut, the Triceratons became a popular addition to the Turtle Rogues Gallery. While not every one of these warrior dinosaurs have a bone to pick with the heroes, the ones that are willing to scrap put up a fierce fight. The Turtles should never completely let their guard down when a new Triceraton lands on Earth. The Federation will handle it from here. None of the Triceratons get there first! Number 8, Agent Bishop. Who are you? Well, Donatello, I'm the man the government relies upon for certain projects. The kind of projects they'd rather not dirty their own hands with. Agent John Bishop is a fan favorite turtle villain that was actually created for the 2003 animated series. After being mistreated by aliens, he developed a strong dislike for any extraterrestrials. Bishop's bias and paranoia led him to go to extremes to protect Earth. He's made dark deals for alien tech, ambushed heroes, and threatened to dissect the turtles at one point. Thanks to Bishop's relentless nature to his own goals, he's made enemies of pretty much everyone. But that also means that he's willing to side with the turtles if it lines up with his aims. Although we don't completely trust the agent, we know that his presence ensures we're in for a great story. When you scream my name, pleading to make the pain stop, begging for mercy, you may call me Bishop. Number 7, The Foot Clan Soldiers. I mean, come on, how do you guys expect to beat me? Good answer. We realize that there are a lot of faceless thugs out there, basic cannon fodder for heroes to beat on until they reach the big bad. That's in part why the Foot Clan is so cool. Sure, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles generally get the better of these soldiers that are loyal to the Shredder. However, the Foot Clan's members ensure that they will always pose a threat to the dudes in green. Their skill in combat means that the group has been legitimately threatening in outings such as the original TMNT live-action film from 1990. 
There they beat Raphael so badly that he's out of commission for part of the movie. And don't worry, he'll probably be back any minute. Ah! Ah! Is he? No, he's alive, barely. So it's wise to never truly count out the Foot Clan. Number 6. Karai What is it that troubles you, Karai? I want to know the truth. The truth about my mother. And Splinter. One of the best aspects about watching the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise grow is seeing how characters like Karai have developed. There's an honesty to her motivations that feel in line with her natural sense of honor. Even when Karai's motivations and true feelings are shrouded in mystery, you trust that she's doing everything for the right reasons. She was originally raised to believe she was the Shredder's daughter, but learning the truth about her origins leads later to her defection and eventual mutation. At one point a high-ranking ninja in the Foot Clan, her destiny always seems to circle back to another tense duel with Leonardo. Simply stated, Karai is just a fully developed character with traits that are far beyond mere black and white. I have no honor. But that's about to change. Number 5. The Rat King Alright turtles, prepare to face the wrath of the Rat King. The Rat King's ability to telepathically communicate with rodents gives him a particularly unique psychological edge over the turtles mentor and father figure, Master Splinter. Beyond that fact, this franchise villain is one that has a long history that dates back to the original comics. The Rat King's devious plans have nearly spelled doom for the turtles and the city on multiple occasions. As a result, he's become known as one of the Ninja Turtles' most formidable enemies. The Rat King is definitely a character that will make your skin crawl just thinking about him. And just when you think he's gone for good, he comes scurrying back to cause more mayhem. Not even your furry friends will be able to chew through this, Rat King. Number 4. Bebop and Rocksteady You're a rhinoceros! And you're a... I don't know what you are! <laughs> These two names have become synonymous with the Ninja Turtles rogues gallery. The pair have been played up as comedic cartoon foils of the main quartet in the past. At the same time, the duo have established themselves as legitimately powerful threats to our favorite heroes. Bebop and Rocksteady may have started out their lives as low-level street thugs, but their eventual mutations lead them into constant battles with the turtles. What they lack in wit, they more than make up for in stubbornness and strength. There are very few constants in life for the turtles. However, you can safely bet that Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo will be squaring off against this rhino and warthog for the rest of their fictional lives. <laughs> Bye, turtles! That's nice to say goodbye. Heads up! Hey, what? Number 3. Baxter Stockman Baxter, you oaf, what's taking so long? It'll be ready in a second, Master. Baxter Stockman and his army of mousers have existed as eternal thorns within the collective sides of the Ninja Turtles. The scientist's devious nature is matched only by his sheer brilliance. Your reign of terror is over, Stockman. You've been practicing that? You like it? What are you? His genius accomplishments have led him to become one of those classic TMNT villains who always just feels like he needs to be in the conversation. Stockman's legacy from the original comics and 1987 cartoon has continued into the modern day too. Various adaptations and updates continually keep the character fresh. Way back in the 1987 series, Stockman's actual transformation into his mutant form from the episode Enter the Fly felt particularly horrific. Stockman's smarts and unique look are always buzzworthy. I must have revenge against my enemy! <laughs> the turtles! Number 2. Krang This guy's getting too big for his britches! Now, wretched reptiles, you will face the wrath of Krang! Although the Krang may refer to the actual race of evil aliens from Dimension X, only one Krang stands head and shoulders above the rest, even if he doesn't have a head or shoulders. The 1987 iteration of Krang is a bit more bumbling than other iterations. However, he's still a threat to the turtles. 
his alliance with the Shredder ensures that he always has some sort of plan to take over the world. Meanwhile, the Krang's more capable update in 2012 made him even more dangerous. He's always ready to push the Turtles to the very limits of their skills and training. And whenever Krang fails, he already starts thinking of a new way to take the heroes in a half shell down. So, you've allied yourselves with your dimensional counterparts, eh? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Shredder You fight well, in the old style, but you've caused me enough trouble. Now you face the Shredder. There have been a lot of excellent villains throughout the TMNT universe, but the Turtles and Oroku Saki, aka the Shredder, will likely be intrinsically linked until the end of time. This isn't a bad thing, of course. Shredder's visual design is beyond cool, and his various origin stories always seem to orbit around Master Splinter and the Turtles. Meanwhile, the 2003 animated series featured Utram Shredder. How many times must we do this, rat? <laughs> also known as an alien named Shirelle, he utilized an exoskeleton to battle the Turtles. Seemingly every turtle continuity has some ferocious variation on the villainous Shredder. His ability to adapt to each team has cemented his place atop the TMNT villain hierarchy. Long may he reign. I am the Shredder, slayer of Ninja Turtles. If destroying them means the end of everything, then so be it! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.